Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Live.Explore. My name is Yasmin Blair. The demands on small and medium-sized craft workshop businesses are increasing because the demand for individual furniture is growing. The solution? Batch Size 1 Production. We will show you what concepts for economical Batch Size 1 Production can look like along the entire production process. We've got examples from various performance classes and we'll be presenting one for each process step for cutting, edging, drilling, and transport. Something of special interest to you, you don't have to automate your entire production immediately, but can choose to invest in stages and also automate at a later date. Our expert on site, product manager Maximilian Held, is going to show us what solutions HOMAG offers in the production process. Hi there, Maximilian. Now, what has HOMAG brought to the table in the field of cutting and what highlights does this cut to size solution offer? Hello, Yasmine. In the field of cutting, we have the CenterTech N600 uh, with a performance class of approximately 600 to 800 parts per shift. This is one out of seven automation concepts um, which are possible. We have alternatives in loading, so for example, the storage system, a lifting table or roller conveyor, and we have alternatives in stacking. So for example, the manual uh, variant, as we can see here, or the automatic um, variant by a robot. In general, there is a three to five axis machining possible on the machine. Today, we have the four axis machining, so the C axis with the Flex 5. A further advantage for the, of this machine is that the whole work area is accessible with all tools. Two highlights of this machine are the IntelliGuide nesting, which shows the operator where the label to put on, shows the information about the follow-up process, uh, the commission data, and the target of the stacking. So. A further advantage is the feeding of the Cabineo fittings, so the flush fittings, which is done by the machine also automatically. If you would like um, to have data acquisition and evaluation on the machine, you can use the MMR, so the Machine Monitoring and Reporting. My colleague Simon Lillo from the Service uh, Value Added Service Department will report on this now. Yes, thank you Maximilian. The MMR enables us to collect and to analyze data directly on the machine or easily with MMR professional from the office. At the MMR, we have five different stages to analyze. This is the main usage, means the machine is operating. The secondary usage means he's, she's, the machine is doing some handling, uh, waiting, and waiting times and failure times and out of operation. In addition to this, the machine operator is able to add some, some reasons of the, of the machine state directly into the data. All right, that sounds great, Simon. So what does this data tell me exactly? And as a customer, what benefit does it provide? First of all, MMR gives us a really big transparency to analyze the whole production process. We see some optimization potentials and we are able to, to find the right measures for it. <laughs> all right, now I'm just seeing there's a robo coming in. Presumably it's in charge of transport. Maximilian, can it do that better than one of my employees? The transport basically does it automatic, um, which means I can use my employees for value-adding tasks. Furthermore, I can increase the transparency and structure in my factory, as I always know where which material is. But let's have a look at the transport uh, user interface directly. We have here an exemplary layout with one place at the nesting machine, one place at the edge bender, and two places in the intermediate buffer. I can either trigger the transport orders via uh, centralized via the transport control unit or decentralized via tablet or the operating terminals of the HOMAC processing machines. That sounds very easy and convenient. Is there only this one transport variant? This is one out of three available transport solutions. We have the basic solution, the advanced solution and the expert solution. Today we can see the advanced solution. Characteristic for the advanced solution is a intermediate buffer which is managed by the transport control. So, which means I do not need a higher level controller, um, so I don't need, uh, so no, no MES is required. Furthermore, I can trigger the transport orders 
via tablet or operating terminal of the processing machines. Once again, very convenient. So which machines and cells can I integrate into the Transbot system? Are there limitations at all? There are for sure no limitations. So I'm flexible in the number of connected machines or cells or even manual workstations. Furthermore, all, uh, every transport solution is upgradable, which means from basic to advanced or in this case from advanced to expert. If I do the upgrade from advanced to expert, I need a higher level controller MES system because in the expert solution, the transport orders are triggered via the MES system and not uh, manually via tablet or operating terminal. All right, so let's assume I do decide to upgrade. What is an MES system and what are the advantages it brings? A MES system is a higher level controller. It means manufacturing execution system. It connects cells and machines and communicates with the different cell controls. It is responsible for the data handling um, and some advantages are the enrichment or addition of missing uh, data. Um, it auto, uh, automatically generates the process and machine data and it uh, has a real-time production overview. In combination with the transport expert, it communicates with the transport cell control, it generates and optimizes the transport orders, and it priorizes the transport um, orders based on the entire production planning. Furthermore, it visualizes the production progress in real time. All right, thank you for that really comprehensive explanation. For whom exactly is it worth investing in an MES system? For focused small and medium-sized companies, with um, more visualization functions and for highly automated batch size one cu uh, customers for more control functions. In a nutshell, for serious and batch size one uh, producers with a clear process, you can easily grow with an MES system in general. All right, Maximilian, so now you've automated the transport from the blank to the edge and implemented it with the help of the Transbot variant advanced. Which example are you going to show me from the edging department? With our EdgeTech S500 and our Gantry return system, we have a performance example of approximately 800 to 1000 edge parts per shift. Especially in terms of the batch size 1 production, we have some interesting uh, functions here. For example, at the beginning, the workpiece feeding system VZ14 with improved infeed section under the upper pressure. After that, we have an edge magazine for a diversity of edge thicknesses and colors, as well as the automatic uh, clue quantity dosing, as well as the emptying function um, for a flexible selection of either clue types, so EVA or PUR, or different clue colors. With our three profile technology, we always have the right technology for the current part, especially on our corner miling unit we have two unique selling points. First, the rolling side tracing, which prevents gloss marks. And second, the diameter adjustable tracing roller um, for faster adjustment. At the end of the edge bender, we have our glue joint pull blade uh, with adjustable, automatic adjustable tracing for fast change between uh, parts with protective foil and without protective foil. Those were some very exciting details, Maximilian. Thank you for that. And if you would like to have even further details explained to you, then you can do so in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with one of our experts. Maximilian, on the edge tech, we can see another portal. What is that for? This is our LoopTech 0600. It either returns the parts in the correct orientation back to the infeed of the edge tech, or stacks the parts after finished edge processing in batch size 1. All right, so that's the edge tech. You are now making the short journey over to the drill tech V500. What example of automation do you have for us here? If six-sided drilling work is necessary or dowels are to be set, we have the drill tech V500 together with the Feedbot D300. Uh, with a performance of approximately 300 to 500 parts per shift. This is a good entry solution into automated drilling. Um, we can run this cell automatically or manually. Also, the times during breaks or after work are optimally used. For the whole cell, we have the wood flex cell control inclusive. 
All right, so let me sum it up. The cell for drilling consists of the drilling machine, the robot, and the cell controller. What distinguishes the individual components? We have a very space-saving solution here because of the vertical workpiece handling as well as the vertical machining center. Um, we can either uh, drill, route, or set dowels with this machine. Also, we have 36 high-speed drilling spindles with a quick change system. And we have no setup times due to a workpiece independent column system. Together with the Feedbot D300, we have a complete solution from Homark. Robust suction technology um, and high quality traverse leads to a high process liability as well as a long service life. With the sensitive, um, with the spring mounted traversy, we we can ensure a sensitive application to the bolts, um, or to the pin stops of the CNC. Furthermore, we have a plausibility check on this machine, which um, compares the data of the actual workpiece with the data of the machine. Furthermore, the wood flex cell control connects both machines. It enables an automatic setup of the whole cell, so the robot and the CNC. Furthermore, it visualizes the whole cell during the operation time. Thanks, Maximilian. And let's also not forget the general advantages of a robot. It's always available. It's low maintenance, also in terms of operating costs. It has a very long service life and it offers consistent high quality. Simon, back to you. If I have now decided to automate my operation, how can my machines and cells be further optimized afterwards? And what does that mean in concrete terms? How can the entire system become more effective? Yes, yes, I mean, Homark provides not only world-class machines, we also provide a world-class service. This means that we not only focus on the technical availability of the plant, we focus on the complete effectiveness of the system. For this, next to the technical availability as a really important measure or a figure, we, we, are, we are able to analyze the overall equipment effectiveness. And this figure means not only the technical availability, but also the, tech, the, the, the performance and the quality of a plant. Plus, HOMAG is able to make optimization potential visible here, right? What exactly does that look like? We are not only able to make it visible, we are able to analyze and to improve the whole processes by using the overall equipment effectiveness. For this, we have our own expert team, a process expert team, and together with the customer, we are doing um, joint projects together to analyze the potentials, and then we find out the best improvement measures together with the customer. Simon, for whom is an analysis of the entire plant useful, and what can our customers expect in terms of increased effectiveness? First of all, I think it makes sense to make this, ana this analysis for, let's say, more complex cells or plants where maybe potentials are not completely visible and we need some data to analyze the potentials. Next to them, I think it makes sense to analyze, let's say, more older machines, two or three years old, because if you get a new, a new machine for Fomark, all the factors means availability, performance and quality are on an optimum. But with the time, especially the performance factor is decreasing and this is the best time to order us for a, together, for a joint project together with us. From last projects, we know that the potential, especially for more complex cells with an age to two or three years, is by up to, uh, up to 10%. Thank you so much, Simon, and of course, also Maximilian. We have now got a good overview of the various possibilities along the production process for batch size one. An important point to make is that there is always the possibility to add subsequent automation. This way, the customer can become more and more efficient over time, invest gradually, and thereby expand their production. And the whole thing is extremely flexible because the degree of networking and automation is freely selectable and can also be adjusted retrospectively. Homog supports this with its MMR office systems for key figures and OEE for data and process analysis beyond delivery. How exactly your solution for batch size one furniture production could look like, you can find out with our experts in a one-to-one -one conversation. Many thanks for watching.